Hello from Kawagoe. I've come to a traditional town here in Saitama Prefecture. It's only a short train ride out of Tokyo and I'm dressed up in a beautiful yukata. I'm staying overnight in Airbnb with Alyssa who's also dressed in a really cute yukata. This is my first time in yukata. I've worn kimono before and they say this is like the cooler summer version of it. I feel like they lied because it is still hot. <laughs> it is hot. We are sweating so much. It's your first time in Kawagoe. I really like it. The traditional vibes so far. Come to Kashiya Yokocho, which is this kind of sweets alley, and they have lots of little small shops and they sell traditional Japanese sweets, street food, and then also souvenirs. I'm thinking to get a cucumber. It's perfect kind of summer treat that's also slightly healthy. They do put a lot of salt in it, but let's get that. And it's cool, this shop has some mist coming down. Got my cucumber stick, which is kind of weird. I feel like in Australia you would definitely never find this at a shop, but I get this at izakayas all the time. Mm. I love cucumbers, so this is perfect for me. Shop staff were super friendly too, and they even pulled up a seat for us to chill and sit down at. Although, this is not a candy, so maybe I need to get something sweet after this because I'm in the like candy alley. We're coming to one of the candy shops. This one's famous, it's called Deko Amea. I've had it once before. Mm. It's so sweet, and there's so many like traditional snacks here. I guess they make it right over there. I got another one, which is soda flavored. Oh, mmm. Mmm, oishi. It's quite. It is soda, right? Mm -hmm. the, the flavor. Mm. I'm surprised we were laid, like, allowed to sample it. They got matcha flavor. They got salt. But so many options. I'm gonna definitely pick up something. Yeah. I got myself a souvenir with these really cute. Kawagoya candy, yay! yay. <laughs> we can enjoy these on the train home. <laughs> Soda flavored. Nice. It's very hot. There's a famous sweet potato ice cream place. So naturally, um, I just got the normal vanilla flavor because I'm boring. But this is a sweet potato and it's kind of nice and crunchy. It reminds me of dipping like my french fries in ice cream, which I love. Controversial opinion though. Can't talk, must eat. Uh. Alyssa's struggling with the ice cream. I kind of had all fear that would happen. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm struggling. <laughs> Found a store that I came to three years ago in 2020 to get blue Hawaiian kakigori. It's the end of summer and I haven't had it yet, so I'm really excited. So, blue Hawaii, hitotsu kudasai. Everyone's so friendly here. I love Kawagoye. Everyone's been so nice, even for like Japan standards. Yeah. yeah. They have a bunch of flavors. They have lemon, they have melon, grape, coke, orange, matcha. But I'm going for the basic blue Hawaiian. We can even get that in Australia. beautiful blue Hawaiian, which I don't know how to describe the flavor, but it's like vanilla to me. Mm. That is good. He gave me a generous amount of syrup, which I appreciate. Good man. Kakiori, mm. which is shaved ice in English, is something you got to do when you're in Japan. It was so hot we took refuge inside a cafe to escape the heat, and I had a hojicho frappuccino. So hot I put sunglasses on. It doesn't really suit the Yukata aesthetic, but I'm rolling with it. Kawagoe is definitely a must visit if you've got a short trip in Japan and you don't have time to visit Kyoto or somewhere else traditional because it's totally doable. Just a short train ride out of Tokyo, so keep it in mind if you don't have a lot of time on your trip. Where are we headed? I am leading the way for once. <laughs> and we're almost there. Actually, I think we're here found this really cool foot spa place where you can enjoy like traditional Japanese sweets and it is so popular we have to come back after our yukata time so we're gonna go get changed and come back around 6 p.m. but I'm so excited it looks so awesome and it's very Japanese aesthetic and it sounds relaxing after a long day walking around in this yukata I'm ready to just chill Visiting a traditional Japanese shrine is the perfect way to enjoy a day out in Yukata. I come to Kawagoya Hachimangu Shrine and every season they change the flowers and right now they've got sunflowers over there and they're really really beautiful. I've never seen that at a shrine before so that's really cool. Just like a quiet local one and I know it's close to our Airbnb so it's really convenient if you want to check it out from there. Might go look at the flowers. I love that they're seasonal. 
actually adore sunflowers. They're so... I think because I love the summer and it symbolises the warmer seasons. You know why sunflowers are called sunflowers? Because they're sunflower seeds. <laughs> I guess that's not really an explanation why. It's because sunflowers grow directly towards the sun and they've been... And that's why they're so tall. They try to get as close to the sun. They have omikuji here, which is a fortune, but a special variety called mizu omikuji. So you put it in the water and it reads your fortune. So I'm going to do one of these, cost 200 yen. I put my money in here. And this will tell me if I'm going to have a good, terrible, or awesome year. <laughs> and we're going to put it here in this blue bowl. Oh, that was fast. Oh, I got baked too. Oh my gosh, you're so lucky. Look who secured herself a fabulous year. I got the best luck. Daikichi. Wow. wow, as soon as you remove it from the water, you literally can't see it. So please uh, read it to us, Sarah. What does it say? Uh, means everything's good. Okay. That's all you need to know. <laughs> I've won at life. I've won the lottery. This is basically like a Japanese lottery ticket, and I got the best. So, so. you're paying for dinner then, right? Yeah, technically. Yay! We're changed back into our normal clothes. Yay. It feels really good because it was quite hot and we're going to go for a bit of a walk until we reach our accommodation. We've been invited to Yasuragi Kawagoe, which is an Airbnb. It's been ages since I've stayed in an Airbnb, honestly. Yeah. Let's go inside. I want to show you guys around the Airbnb, how to look, and it is insanely big. Let's go. There's literally doors leading to so many directions. And of course we're in the middle which has the kitchen and we have a dining like living room space which has lots of games, we have a couch. If you come in here we have a bedroom, one of many because this place actually accommodates up to 11 people. That wasn't 11 fingers, <laughs> but uh, it's huge. So you can just come here and bring like a bunch of friends, stay with family or you know just get the whole place to yourself. And we have one, two toilets, the mirror two basins oh, and we have a shower we have a full-size bath this is huge I can stretch my legs <laughs> out in Japan this is rare like if you're watching from home in a Western country you don't understand how good you guys have it I need to live here this is a luxury having three stove tops is so rare in Japan so you can cook several dishes oh Alyssa my God. Alyssa do you know oh what this my is God. Is that the ever lucid dishwasher? <laughs> Once again, like bathtubs, they don't have dishwashers here. Like, I can't wait to use the kitchen later tonight because we're going to cook up something really exciting and we're going to play a bunch of games. Come out to go grocery shopping for dinner. Yay. We're kind of contemplating between making two things right now. A very traditional Japanese dish called tacos. <laughs> or the Japanese pancake, okonomiyaki. Which is actually Japanese. And there's this really cute short thing, guys. So like a shopping street right near the Airbnb, less than five minutes away. Ooh, and there's so games. much to do. Yeah, crane yeah. games. There's like little restaurants. There's shops. It's actually really nice. What's with those cats? There? They're all doing the macarena like a line dance. <laughs> the closest supermarket nearby is actually huge as well. There's literally everything we could ever want. So we're hoping they have shiracha so we can make our tacos. Wow, this is great. This is super convenient. I'm actually a really big fan of cooking in an apartment when traveling. I just find it really fun. I'm in charge of getting the sake for tonight. I got a local beer from Koedo. It's one of the famous ones here in Kawagoya. And I'm gonna get some Daiginjo, Daiginjo? Daiginjo sake, which is like the higher grade Nihonshu. So I'm just looking for that. Alyssa and I love drinking sake, especially when we're traveling. So we got all the stuff for tacos, including flowers, so we're going to make our own tortilla, or as Sarah calls them, wraps. So. We're back! Yay! And we got all our stuff. We're going to start preparing the magic of dinner. As a native Texan, I'm a taco expert. I'm going to make a marinade that will soak our chicken in, and that will be the basis for our beautiful tacos. We're going to add a couple of spices. These are secret, top secret, so can't share. Mix it together, marinate the chicken, and then fry. It's really fun cooking here because it's such a spacious you kitchen. You smell the marinade, the beautiful peppers. <gasps> I nose. do. It smells great. They have like a server where you can make it like draft beer. So I want to give it a go. I've never done this before. 
Oh, it's making some noise. Ooh. Ooh. All right. This looks legit. Yeah. Come by. Yo, that's awesome. We have our tortillas on the fry pan, which is a Japanese style one cooking. I'm proud that you said tortilla, not wraps. <laughs> I know. It took a long time, it three did. years of friendship. <laughs> And they're very cute and they're homemade, so we're giving them a go, but I keep flipping them too early with uh, this. <laughs> and I'm like, Sarah, patience, patience. I'm just like, no! <laughs> wow! Bye bye. Come by. Cheers. Do you like my choice? It's really smooth. It's lovely. Yay! I love the fruity, like, smooth sake. So the higher the quality, obviously it tastes better, but it makes a huge difference with sake. Uh, my tip is to just pick the prettiest label. That's what I usually do. I just gotta buy the tortilla. That's <laughs> so. I love the sauce that you use. Uh, I really like the sauce. It's my special secret recipe. I shall pass it down <laughs> for my generation. <laughs> Maybe we can watch a movie while enjoying our dinner. Oh, that's actually a good idea. Mm. Yeah. Time to play some games. We're gonna get started with Mario Kart, and they have a Switch here. I played this online on Twitch once, and I got smashed, and now <laughs> I have, like, issues. <laughs> so let me just... <laughs> I feel like both of us are just, like, average. We'll definitely beat someone who's never played. That's not a high bar. <laughs> Victory against all the NPCs and Sarah. <laughs> Yay! I'm glad we didn't play Smash Bros though, because Sarah is like 10 times better at that. So. That's all I got. <laughs> oh god. It's time to start our long journey. Oh no. They had a bunch of games here, but this was what got my attention. I feel like there's two types of people. The people who really want to play Monopoly, and the people who are like, Oh god, I really don't want to play Monopoly. <laughs> That's true. So, Monopoly we're going through the rules. Point. There's a lot to understand. It's quite different from regular Monopoly. We may change to regular we Monopoly. <laughs> Just <laughs> seeing how things go. Monopoly. <laughs> but I want to do it for the aesthetic. The Domotsu. <laughs> Domotsu. Domotsu. Domotsu aesthetic. Monopoly atsumare Domotsu no morite. See, look at this nice, real Monopoly money we could be playing with <laughs> instead <laughs> if we played real <laughs> Monopoly. So after a lot of reading and not understanding the rules, thank you for trying, <laughs> we decided to switch to proper Monopoly. Good morning guys, I had a really nice sleep in and it's already 10 a.m. but I'm going to have a nice bagel that I bought at a local bakery with some cream cheese and just watch Japanese TV because that's my favorite thing to do when I stay like at a hotel on Airbnb. Just watch whatever's on TV, so. <laughs> Also in my favorite pajamas, Happy Little Vegemite, Aussie Pride. <laughs> Come to the foot spa which we wanted to come to before but we couldn't because it was so busy and we got the last reservation of the day so now it's kind of a dark moody atmosphere it's cooler too yeah like now that's true and the water is actually lukewarm it is not cold or hot so i think that's kind of perfect yeah definitely. this place is really cool because you can order like a variety of drinks or kakigori and you can just enjoy the atmosphere they had some umbrellas out and it honestly just started raining a bit which was a little extra moodiness this is kind of the thing that i wanted to experience in kawagoe the most so i'm really glad we could squeeze yes, it in me too. before we go back to tokyo so i got satsumai mokocha which is black tea and sweet potato which sounds like a weird combo but it's totally normal in japan sarah apparently tells me so i've I actually never <laughs> well, i've never had it before um so i'm gonna try it I don't feel like it's gonna taste like actual sweet potato though. It smells really fragrant. Oh, black tea mainly. Ow, Atsuri, it's so hot. 
So here's my amezake tray. So it's a variety of three drinks. I have hojicha, matcha, and then amazake, which is a really sweet rice fermented drink. And I like the bottle, it's really cute. I don't know why, but I got some fresh grated ginger. Alyssa was thinking it's a palate cleanser, potentially. <laughs> and then um, some kempi, which are these sweet potatoes, like crackers. Very crunchy. I will sample my first drink. And also, this is just so refreshing for your legs in. I'm a big fan. I want this at home now. Interesting. It's like watery hojicha. I don't know if that's meant to be the effect. Maybe I'm meant to add the amazaka in here. That's what he said. Is that what he said? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I had to sample it before changing the flavor. So let me give it a try like this. Oh, it's actually not too sweet. I'm gonna try the newly mixed amazake hojicha. Interesting. <laughs> I, it's just it's just kind of like a diluted flavor because the hojicha itself is already diluted, and then the amazake is not quite strong. Do you mm. want to give it a go? Thoughts? I think it smells stronger than it tastes. Exactly. Like it smells it's like quite... a really nice hojicha, and then the taste, like you said, it. It's watered down a bit. <laughs> the matcha one, you're not a big fan of matcha, but... No, I'll have some grass, though. Insulting everyone from Japan right there. It tastes like grass. Nah. We will enjoy the rest of our time at this lovely foot spa with our drinks. Subscribe and like for more, and I'll see you in another travel video. Bye-bye.